This week on El Cara Ham Radio, we head up to Hamvention 2022 in Xenia, Ohio. We have a wonderful dinner, and we head on over to the Hamvention site, and we walk around and see what is available this year, the first year back since COVID. This Hamvention is called The Reunion. This week on El Cara Ham Radio. Alrighty, we walked through the gate. Actually, we parked at the local high school and took the shuttle to the fairgrounds here in Xenia. And as you can see, plenty of parking really on site, or I say a lot of parking, maybe not plenty, but we did park at the local high school. They had a shuttle and uh, we uh, went over to the fairgrounds. We walked up to the gate and we didn't have a ticket yet. We purchased our tickets at the gate. This is the tent where you can take your tickets and get them laminated, but then we had to walk over to the actual ticket windows to purchase our two tickets. Once we were through the gate, we could see some of the RVs that are located at the event. This is just a small sampling of those RVs. And then because we do have an emergency communications trailer back at HQ, we kind of like to get some ideas looking at other vans, trailers, and the like for emergency communications type vehicles. Telescoping masts, antennas, and just some of the gear on the inside. Here we can see one of such trailer outfitted. Looked really nice. And occasionally we meet some of our viewers, the subscribers to the El Cara Ham Radio channel. And if you happen to spot us and we haven't run out of patches, we sometimes give away a patch or two at these events. Now, one of the first places we stopped by, which actually happened to be in the first building that we went into, was Wolf River Coils, and they're always busy. And then we got, uh, we started walking into the main area of the building, and they have some of the major vendors in each building. building. So, for instance, we have DX Engineering in this building, Yesu in another, ICOM in another, MFJ in still yet another building. But as you can tell, quite busy. And this is Friday. This is not Saturday. Uh, Saturday will be even busier. Typically, you'll have a lot of people on Friday, and they're doing what we're doing. They're walking around, finding out where some of their favorite vendors are located. And, and on Friday, they'll grab a bite to eat and maybe just spend a, a couple of hours at the event just finding where people are. And then they'll be back tomorrow to start asking questions and, who knows, maybe purchase some more gear. This is, I believe, in the second building. And like I said, we just want to kind of show you folks how the event is set up. This is the Flex Radio section. Uh, we're actually taking a look at Flex Radio based on some recommendations for the upcoming remote HF project. And we're probably going to uh, insert our uh, grant proposal. ARRL is giving away some grant money and we're going to submit our application and maybe a flex radio will be in our future. Yet another building here and we walk in and looking at some of the vendors in this building. This is Alpha Rotators. And as we start panning to the left, we'll see some additional vendors as well. Now, one of the things that sometimes will catch you off guard if you haven't been to some of these major ham ventions or ham fests are the types of vendors that are there. You're certainly going to have your ham gear represented vendors, but you're going to see uh, sign makers, uh, merchandise such as t-shirts and hats. You're going to see people selling jewelry sometimes, uh, wood carvings. There's just all kinds of things at these hamventions. Here we're looking at the ICOM booth. And again, we're just getting a lay of the land. We're not going into each booth and asking a lot of questions. That'll be coming up in future videos. And as we pan to the right, hey, Radio Waves is in the building.
this is such a large venue, multiple bu buildings. I think we ended up going in five different buildings um, that uh, it's, it's quite a chore on your first day if you plan to go multiple days, again, to find where everybody is located. Plenty of space, quite a warm day. Chris and I both were uh, remarking about how warm it was and it was easy to get a little bit hot under the collar. There's some t-shirts that you might get with your call sign. And they were, of course, selling t-shirts and sweatshirts with the uh, Hamvention logo for this year, The Reunion. Dayton Hamvention and the club that helps uh, run everything for this particular Hamvention uh, had booths sprinkled throughout the event in multiple buildings. And we're about to go into the ARRL section. Now there's multiple booths here depending on what it is that's interesting you, maybe more than one thing. We're a club channel, so we're always interested in stopping by the club-related ARRL booth. Looking at some of the other booths down the other side there. The Brits have joined us at Hamvention this week. And then we pan back over to the ARRL. And again, multiple booths here. There's our Great Lakes Division. Radio clubs, you can just see it there now in the middle. Mike and Fred. And uh, pardon me on uh, the call signs. don't have those off the top of my head. But Mike and Fred are incredibly helpful for the grant application process. And if you're a club, you really should consider submitting a grant application this year. We're in another building at this point. And we're taking a look at some of the other booths. And again, finding out where everybody is. Youth on the Air booth to the right and the left. Just loads and loads of vendors this year. And this is what, again, makes the event such an incredible journey to and, and something that you would want to go to. There's a lot of ham fests around the United States. Many of these same vendors will be at those ham fests, but this tends to be the largest, and so you'll really get to see a broad spectrum of different vendors. And other Hamfest also will set up a booth. There was Hamcation there on the left. The Huntsville Hamfest also has a booth listed here as well as others. And we continue our leisurely stroll through this particular building. And the biggest reason that we like to put out this particular video for our subscribers is, again, so that you can kind of see the different vendors and booths and so forth. A lot of times you'll see a really cool piece of gear. Maybe you've had some type of a recommendation for, you know, an antenna or radio or, you know, a lot of accessories for the various things you can do in ham radio. This is your opportunity to touch a lot of that, those devices, accessories, and gear instead of just always looking at a video or maybe going to the website where they sell said gear. And then one of the last buildings of the day to go into Now, I'm fortunate at 6'2", I'm reasonably tall. Sometimes I'm easily able to look over uh, crowds of people's heads just to kind of get an idea of what's down this or that uh, aisle. And uh, sometimes that's beneficial. And uh, here we can see the Gigaparts section. And waving at Steve there at Gigaparts. Steve's has been really nice to Elkara Ham Radio. There he is. The Gigaparts booth is incredibly large, and they represent a lot of different vendors. There's Heil. We had Bob Heil on the channel not too long ago. And, of course, Yesu has their really large booth. They were giving away some hats, and we picked up a couple to give away to some of our members back home.
There's the Diamond booth. We'll definitely be visiting that booth on Saturday. Quicksilver to the left, just peeking in there in the top left corner. Ham Radio Outlet. Good to see those folks at this particular ham fest. Everybody seems to have a preferred vendor, whether it's R&L or Gigaparts or HRO, and uh, we kind of sprinkle the love around. And we had to stop by one of our favorite vendors, Compact Tenna, Dr. Jack Nilsson. And uh, here we got a little bit of his booth and the various antennas that he has uh, there and that he is demonstrating or talking about. We'll have an interview with Dr. Jack a little bit later. There's the new micro beam. This is his new pet project. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get a chance to test out this antenna. And then we headed back outdoors. So we hit through, we went through many of the buildings where the major vendors and some of the other folks who are selling at Hamvention. But there is a flea market, if you will, or a marketplace where various people can uh, come from all over the United States and uh, also sell various ham radio based devices, equipment, antennas, cables, connectors. Mm, you'll find a, just a varied amount of hardware and et cetera <laughs> at the marketplace. Acres and acres. And what we're showing you in today's video probably wasn't a quarter of the area. We just walked through part of it so you could get a feel for this. And the weather was so gorgeous today uh, on the warm side, but boy, you'd rather it was on the warm side than cold or rainy. So it turned out incredibly well. You can see all the sunshine and uh, just makes it a very enjoyable day to kind of leisurely stroll through the marketplace. If you have uh, an item on your uh, needs or want list, and you don't want to purchase new, or maybe they don't make it anymore, there's a really good chance that you'll find it. One of these booths or at one of these folks selling within the marketplace. And we start to finish up. So we hope that you can kind of get an idea of how large this is. And again, this is on Friday. There was a good crowd that day, uh, but uh, Saturday will be even larger. And uh, many folks will be packing up uh, on Sunday, uh, usually around noon. But uh, we, were, uh, we were very fortunate to be able to just kind of get the lay of the land on Friday and to bring that to you. And again, we just went up a couple of aisles here on the marketplace just to give you some representation. For the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, I'm KY4BDP and KY4CKP was also helping out on the camera as well as some of the walkthroughs. If you get a chance to go to a ham fest in your area, please do. It won't be as large as Hamvention, but hey, you might find something that's on the wish list and want to take advantage of it. But a lot of times it's good just to get out. And because of COVID, this had been canceled for two years in a row. So it was good to get back out. We hope to see you in our future videos as we go into a little bit more detail on some of the vendors. Subscribe and put down a comment. 73.